Hey, everybody. All right. We are here. Welcome to another action-packed. That's one way of putting it. Podcast and live video yeah. of Twisted Views. You can get this in podcast form on iTunes. Just look up Twisted Views TV or Weebeam TV. It'll find it. Yep. Including other shows like Nerd Talk, Moving Forward TV, Comic Book 101. They're all available there. Beer and Sunshine. Also, you can pod vision this right on WeBeamTV.com Tuesdays at 11 o'clock. You can also go back and check the archives right there at TwistedViewsTV.com. Hopefully, we so. won't say nothing today. That you want to you do the disclaimer? <laughs> Look yeah. into this camera. Look so. right in your camera and do your disclaimer. So, warning. The views and opinions expressed on this show, Twisted Views TV, do not necessarily reflect those of WeBeam TV, Area 52 Media Group, or Tampa Bay Multimedia. Simply put, these guys can be jerks sometimes. And we are. Yes. Because today I am I am I'm loaded. <clears throat> you got me. Let's let's start on the one that you, you actually posted. Yeah. And uh one. there was a, a young man that was on the uh that, that follows us and his name is Dan. I won't go I won't put his last name out there. But Hi, uh, um the statement was made should all Americans receive a guaranteed income, whether you work or not should all Americans receive a guaranteed income? So in other words, do we all need to be on welfare? I don't know if it's necessarily welfare, but I, 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 I attribute it to similar, like if you live in, if you are an Alaskan citizen, like you live in Alaska, that is your home of address. You receive $3,200 a, a year per resident, which, cause it allows them to drill for oil. So everybody there, man woman child if you're born that year everybody in the household gets 30 but you can never dollars. leave alaska you can leave you just stop getting the money yeah because what's his name uh yeah. there's a there's a tv show out there um <coughs> and they left alaska for a short time still pulled money and got in trouble for it yeah had to yeah. spend some time into pokey well a lot of military guys actually um if they get stationed up in alaska they change their home of address to the that alaskan address so no matter where they get stationed because if you're military it's different because you get moved to different stations. So whatever your home of address is, is where your home is. Like for me, I was stationed up in, in Seattle, right. but my home of address was always Florida. So I paid, I didn't have to pay state taxes you know, like that because I was, I was you know, a Florida resident. So the guys would change their home of address to Alaska so that their entire time in the military, no matter where they were, they were getting that extra 3,200 per family member um, each year. So, you but know- it was once a year, it wasn't monthly, like this is right. the same. Well, I, I, still don't, I still don't think, I, you know, I still think it's wrong because Absolutely. you're basically basically I mean that subsidy comes from the oil companies that that they're giving that to Alaska correct yes yeah that doesn't come from the okay. government dude yeah. if we're all in government aid no I'm sorry government government aid yeah, if we're all government aid if we're all in welfare none of us are on welfare yeah perfect it's a perfect society okay. so here, here's the deal <laughs> but see Zuckerberg and um, the other um, other guy there uh, I understand they're all behind it and I'm like this is crap well I understand the, th the thought behind it is because right now there's not a single state in this country where you can make minimum wage and have a two-bedroom apartment that being said stop working for minimum wage you know minimum wage was, was brought it's, meant, it's meant to be a stepping stone you're not meant to have your entire life and a career at McDonald's wage. exactly that, the McDonald's and Burger well, Kings hey, and the Taco Bells and Publix. You want to work your whole life? Get up to management level. Right, exactly. Boost yourself up. Minimum wage is not meant to be a career. No, That's it's a not. temp job. That is to go, oh, I like so working course, and I like making money. Let me go make yeah. more. Let me get better educated exactly. or better skill sets. You can't live off minimum wage, I, I, and I, I believe, on purpose. Never, I'm, yeah, I've never, it makes perfect sense right. to me. I've never, I've never disagreed with the you can't live off of minimum wage. Yeah, you're right. You're not because by the time we all turn 21, 22 years old, we shouldn't be making minimum wage. Minimum wage is for people coming that are in high school and getting themselves to college. Once you graduated college or you come out of the military or you come out of a tech school, you should be making way more than minimum wage. You, I matter of fact, I know for a fact that if you go to a tech school and say you're doing welding, mm -hmm. Okay, you come out of doing that, and if you and now if you're lazy and go, well, I'm not driving 30 miles to go to weld. I'm just gonna if you can't get 10 miles an hour, if I can't live, uh, can't work within 10 miles, I ain't working. Well, that's yeah, crap. That's on you. That's on you. But I know right now welders coming out are making six figures. Yeah. Six freaking figures, and that ain't not that's not including the cents. 
that's a hundred thousand dollars a year plus mm-hmm. welding because I mean we're, we are losing our labor force in this country because people would rather be sitting at home on their asses playing video games or card games or just too lazy to just freaking work it's ridiculous you want to make money go work yeah, you want to make you want to make 15 bucks an hour go work have a skill set other than you can sign your name and wash some dishes now i will i will say this in seattle they did or in washington state they did raise them they the test they it's a, it was a test state to raise a minimum wage of 15 dollars an hour there has been an improvement in who applies for jobs the workers it's not just you know every scumbag with the GED working at McDonald's and spitting in your food and, and giving you attitude like the the class of people stepped up but you know what else has happened nobody has stayed longer than a year at minimum wage they've all progressed they've all pushed forward because they got that taste of extra money than what they were making and now they're like I, I need to progress my life so going back to this you know Zuckerberg and Musk now see it really kind of blows my mind that elon musk out of all of them would would back this but you know it's kind of funny the ones that back it have got so much money it doesn't matter you don't see some you don't see some hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollar a year person going oh this is a great idea you know why because they worked really really hard zuckerberg now whether whether you know the true story or not yeah you know he was semi-educated and he was good at doing what he did. He, you know, he kind of ripped off other people's idea. If you, if you, if you follow that way, I don't care either way because they were all a bunch of Harvard schnots anyway. So it is what it is. But, you know, he 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 may have started the the original development, but he worked off the backs of others to get his money. And trust me, you know, if you if you if you work there, you're not making the big big money that you think you would be working you're making. So. That's just, I just don't think it's good. First of all, my taxes are going to go up. Now, if it does do what you say it does, you know, and it spurs that, that growth potential, that's awesome. Because the more people that are working, the more taxes are being paid to the system. The system now, now we're not, it's It's now making money rather than losing money. Right. That goes back to my whole thing. I used to have this thing where it was 18, was it 18, 18, 24, 30 right at 18 years old when you graduate we also high called school, this a dictatorship to be fair though so it's not a dictatorship <laughs> absolutely is a dictatorship you have age limits for everything well yeah and then well, you tell no me kids until life. no kids until you're 30. you can't even get married till you're yeah, 30. but isn't paying everybody a standard amount of income that's did, dictatorship isn't that the first step to communism yeah. yes or socialism which is the problem yeah so oh. I, i'm not i'm not for it I think it's crazy. I think at 18 years old, you have two choices in this in this lifetime. You can either go to the military, you can go into uh, college or skill set. Pick one. You're not going to live off the system. If you're not going to pick any of them, you don't get you don't get welfare, you don't get Medicaid, you don't get Medicare, you don't get anything. Now, yeah. if you're born with disability, I was saying we should put a disabilities in which that's different. You know, you you cannot physically work. You have a disability. Yes, the government will 100 percent take care of you because you are unable to work. But if you've got two arms and no two legs arms. that work and a brain that works at least three quarters of the way. Well, anybody ever noticed that in Europe that they don't have near the issues with, um, like we have people stepping on a flag and spitting on veterans and you're an idiot for going into service, blah, 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 blah. You don't have that overseas. You want to know why? Because most countries in Europe require two years of service as soon as you're 18. Now, yeah. whether that's active service when you're you know, actively going out and doing something or, you know, you're just... Yeah, what, in regardless the of wartime say, or peacetime, you, you have, have to be the training, in the military for two years. You, you, you want to know? You, look, okay, that and that's great. Now, let me. You know what? You know what the real reason I think is is because the United States has never been dominated by anybody. The rest of these countries knows what it's like to come in and get your teeth kicked in and get run but look at look at look at look at france how many times did germany walk in there and take it over right we, we haven't had look our, at the greeks we have the greeks got f- ran by germany for i mean look at this so we, all these other countries understand we yeah we never had our front door kicked in and then they charge right in that's not really ever happened to us you know there's been yeah, uh, like point, maybe one won't. or two attempts the closest thing you think is pearl harbor but even still you, you attacked a small base in hawaii not even the main state. Yeah, that was, kind of, this was a real, a real dick move. 
Just but, bo- but, but still, yeah. bottom line is, okay. is we don't. Their cities that exist count went down by two. <laughs> no, as, completely just as a con- but as a country we don't dry know race marker. we don't we don't know what it's like to have come in and have some other government run us so that's why we're i think that's why i i, I think we're we're overprivileged i think we think you know the earth re- revolves around us well, yeah, with the USA, of course we well, do. Well, except for the Flat Earth Society. So, um, so, yeah. Hey, but, they're, but they got members all over the, the world. bring them up every, every episode. <laughs> what are they I gonna promise do? you. How do we get around the sun to them? Are we just like some like big plane of existence? Oh, no, nothing just... revolves, according to them. Yeah, nighttime, We're I guess, an illusion. So what? Someone's like push, pull the light switch on the sun every now and then? Just... I have no idea. I, I can't get through. I can't get through. Different. I've huh. tried. I know. I've tried. I know. I've tried to read. I want to know more about what they think, and I can't do it. My no, grandmother a, was a flatter society person. My mom's mom. <laughs> this woman <sighs> also smoked a carton of cigarettes a day. Yeah. And outlived my grandfather by ten years, but she for my how to high does that she, to you? <laughs> swore the Earth was flat. Swore we never went to the moon or ever could. Swore dinosaurs never existed. Mm-hmm. Uh, swore the world was only six thousand years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the level of ignorance when I was four years old and I was more intelligent than my grandmother. It was, and the thing is, well, it got off quiet, didn't it? The thing is this: <laughs> no, I'm not I have this never He's met pausing a, lot. a flat Earth society person who's not a hateful person. I think they're just upset that they can't go to the moon now. Like, those are the people that put applications in, and they sent them back a fancy letter saying sorry, and they went, nah, and they tore the letter up and freaked out and Here's the thing. Those cried people, a little in their okay, sleep. Okay, if the world is flat, that means it has an end, right? That means it's like this table. They need to go jump off. And it has... No, here's my thing. Here's my thing. You want to prove the world is flat. You're saying that the way the globe... Like, you see on a map when we take it and we, we take a globe and we flatten it yeah. out, but it's all rectangular to them. Yeah. Okay, that means there's an end. Go there. Find me that end. Take a picture. Take your phone, lean it over that edge, and show me space. Right. It is too easy over. to prove your point. The thing is, your point is the easiest to prove. The flattest society has the easiest way to prove their... Because as a globe... We How the never, hell did we get on flat Earth society? I don't know. Hates them. I hate them. Uh, like, let's bring it back. Right. Try a GoPro, throw it off into the void of nothingness that should be you know, yeah. known as space out there, and then just pull it back and go, okay, there we go, I have my proof. And I'll be like... All right, damn. It's, I'm, gonna, it's I'm the, really gonna fuel this. It's now. round. Hey, let's we should have spin your TV. Tube. Hashtag flat Earth. Uh-oh. This is a genuine hashtag. I'm now gonna tell they're all idiots. What is it? Hashtag flat Earth. It's a re- it's a legit. I don't know ha- hashtag flat Earth. That's it. Hashtag flat Earth. Please go let them know what you think, because that's what I'm doing right now. We'll start another one. Dude, flat they're going to they're get that edge, earth. take a selfie, and be like, hashtag flat earth selfie, and I'll be like, all right, you win. All right, SOB, you win, dude. Okay. All right, good hashtag job. Hashtag flat earth morons. morons. There's, there's the new hashtag for this today, for right now. I'll leave it up right there until I need dude, to Dude, can we get coffee. the Rockstar paleontologist to, uh, uh, to retweet yeah. that? Yeah, hashtag. Okay, so I with that being said, we're not for, we're not, we're not for this whole... It's ridiculous. It, first of all, it, it, it's it, the universal basic income would, would bankrupt. Yeah, we're not we're not in a I stable economy enough to do that. No, absolutely not. Um, no, money is money is earned through working, not given to everybody over time, unless it's from a different company who is exploiting your state for some kind of gain. Example: Alaska for oil. Mm-hmm. That's an oil company. It's not the government saying, "Oh, here, well, we're letting them drill here." No, 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 no. The oil company is going. We want to drill here, and you're a citizen here. We have the okay, but here's this to compensate. And at that point, it's like, oh, all right then. Is that thirty-two hundred dollars a year in monthly increments, or like the end of the year you get thirty-two hundred dollars? No, when you get your taxes back, you also get an additional thirty-two hundred dollars. That's nice. That's a, that's a that's a burst rather than um a gradual. So that like everybody's like, oh, I'm getting my tax refund. I'm getting my money. I'm getting this nice. Alaska's thing. going get my tax refund. Yeah, like, no, you're not getting a tax refund. You're getting the money you you're paid in. Ch- you're getting back. change. You're, not, you're getting all that money that you lost throughout the year back. You're not making a dime. 
No, you're getting your money that you've invested in exactly. the American government. That's what you're getting back. You should, you should change. Well, you paid too much. Part of the money you've invested. Ooh. They're in like, thanks for investing, but here's a here's a little here's a little oomph for you. So, but they actually legit everyone should money. invest in their country. So let, let's talk everyone about. Want the country to uh, So let's to let's jump over because we're not we're we're all we're on the same opinion there. That's yeah. just dumb. Um, the Damn University comes. of Delaware's Catherine Detweiler. You read about this? That's the one that um, was on Fox this morning. Said, yeah, yeah. She she well, got wait, before we get to her. Mm -hmm. Let's explain kind of that whole story. Like, let's go ahead and just we'll, we'll real quickly. The the kid um oh, what was his name? War, war, uh, Warmbier. Warmbier. Otto, oh. The kid from Warmbier. North Korea who came back. He was a prisoner over there because he decided to break a law like a freaking idiot. Yeah. He goes over there thinking that I'm American, you can't touch me, I don't have to listen to your laws. Sure enough, he gets put in prison, ends up in a coma, and he dies later on when he gets back here. That's pretty much the premise of it. Yeah. And why was he? Why was he? What? What did he? What did he, what did he get uh, thrown in there? Korean oh, he prison. He took a post, a propaganda poster off the wall as uh, a uh, souvenir. That's in a hotel. He, he ripped it down. And no, let, let, let's 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 back up a little bit. A few years back. There was a young man that went to was Singapore. It? Singapore, and got caught spraying graffiti. And what they do to him? They beat him with a cane. He got caned. So, you know, you figure that that's a pretty big, holy crap! Don't ever do anything wrong, where I don't live. Yeah, the no, that's scenario. the thing. Is, diplomatic I, I community firmly, does not go to other people besides say, diplomats. I firmly, firmly stand behind the belief of. If you do a crime in a country of origin that's not your own, you should face the punishment of that country in which you are in. That's as simple as that. Put if you your shot up and say that. Yeah. I, want, I want that. Yeah. I want I I because this is the younger generation. If you go to a different country and do not obey their laws, you get the punishment that that country would provide. Therefore, going to jail for stealing that poster is what he deserved. He got it. Yeah, you broke the law. You're an idiot. I mean, heck, we're lucky he even came back to America in the first place. Right. North Korea didn't have to extradite him. Did not. They could have given his punishment and said you can get him back at the end of the, the, end punishment, of the punishment. was death anyways. For stealing a propaganda well, poster. Well, North Korea. Keep in mind, the they also treat there. him as a god. You understand? So it's basically yeah. stealing a deity's, a deity's word. Yeah, I mean, over there, like, if you chew gum the wrong way, the penalty's death. So, yes. so, so the, the... Listen, man, one last person to feed. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think, I think what really got her fired... The, the 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 part of her tweet that really got worse is what is where name? she said got exactly what he deserved. Right now, yeah. that's that's what was her name again? It's an her name is Catherine Detweiler. Right, it's an insensitivity thing. Yes, the family I'm sure is grieving because the family didn't tell him to steal the poster off the wall. You know, it's, it's they're they're grieving the loss of their son. I'm sure that's that's still regardless of death is a death. Um, everyone deserves the right to mourn uh, their loved ones after dying. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, was that tweet horribly insensitive? Yeah, definitely. Um, or or was it? What well, I mean, okay. Again, this is twisted views. So we turn everything. Was it insensitive, or was it just stating the flipping truth? I think it's insensitive in today's day, days and standards. Um, okay, let's let's. Okay, we th we're gonna throw the politically correct crap that's out. That's what I'm saying. In today's standards, that's what I'm saying. No politically correct. The, the, the statement. Are the microphones supposed to be on? Don't worry about it. Okay. I just have to look up and see just, the lights. It doesn't affect us okay, at all. Good. All right. Never mind. Um, We're good to go. Insensitivity. Yes. But that doesn't make it incorrect. And that's something I've stood behind for a long time. Just because it's insensitive doesn't mean it's not correct. I, I've pointed that out a few times on a few of our Nerd Talk episodes as well. I'm like, no. Nope. I'm like, it may sound really awful, but I'm 100% correct by saying that. Yeah. I'm like, yes, I, I think the University of, of Delaware should have never should have never sacked her or never fired her. No, I think that was, uh, I think that that's uncalled for. Um, yeah, like, she didn't uh, deserve to be fired for that. Granted, you're a teacher. You're supposed to, you know, you're supposed well, to keep a lot of your views hidden. But nothing she said was harmful to anyone. No, no. So she didn't she break the freedom the truth. of speech. She didn't break the freedom of speech laws. Like there's a ground with freedom of speech. We talked about last week that if it's meant, if it's done in any way that's harmful. Or uh, to incite detri riot. detriment to a set riot or detriment against right. the country, you have an issue. She didn't do that. Mm -mm. She hurt a couple people's feelings. Yeah. You know. And the thing is, like, you know, I'm not even sure. That's like the kid that got caned. Yeah. He got what he deserved. 
You don't go look. He's bo- like eating his hands chopped off. See, the 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 it goes back to the very statement I said well ago. We as Americans have never had anybody come and kick our door down and rule us. So when we go places, we carry that 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 attitude with us. Um, I've been overseas. You've been overseas. We've met people that come over here from overseas, yeah. and the, the the opinions of them coming here or us going over there are immediately. You're an arrogant American. Until you're they get to know you, you're, you're an, an arrogant American. You're an a-hole. We don't want to deal with you. You know, yeah, fine. We'll take your money. You spend your money here. Blah, blah, blah. But we really don't like you. And then all of a sudden, they get to know you and they get to meet. Well, maybe not me. They'll probably pretty much say yeah, the same like, thing. We were right from the start. Typical <laughs> American. Yes, you are. But, um, but the bottom line is, is when you're in somebody else's country, you follow their rules. Yes. And if you don't know the rules, don't play stupid. Go, I didn't know that. (laughs) You ask. Anybody, we flip out if some foreigner comes over here and breaks our laws and then their country Mm. tries to extradite him. And like, no, 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 he's got a face. Exactly. So we should, we should. America is the biggest, as as a country as a whole, is the biggest hypocrite in the entire planet. Because they want it their way, but then they don't want to do the same for anybody else. That's why people come over here or we go over there and they hate us. It's almost 100% across the board. And there are countries who are our friends, and they are our allies, and they appreciate us as a whole, like the country does. But the people in the country, mm-mm. Nope. Well, they, they appreciate our help and our service yeah. and our, our wall known as the United States military. So, Twisted Views, three tornadoes out of three tornadoes. Yeah, no, I think we all agree. That, three tornadoes. Know, oh, I don't, yeah. Why have we not been doing that? That's awesome. Yeah, three tornadoes. I say, I give her three tornadoes. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, she shouldn't have got fired. So tornado, tornado, tornado. Yeah. You yeah, know what she said was fired. insensitive. As, you know, my you know my wife and I were talking about this this morning. There's things that we say to each other in the confines of our house that would probably, well, she doesn't say it. Uh, I kind of say it. Um, that could be taken definitely out of context. Um, right. But I, I kind of really won't say nothing in my house that I wouldn't say outside. So that's just kind of my. That's why I actually wanted to start. I was actually going to start Angry Man, but they did Twisted Views because it kind of wouldn't really pigeonhole Tampa Bay Multimedia Wee Beam TV or Area 52 Media Group. So. But, but well, plus nobody, I, well, let's be honest, nobody's going to sit here and, and listen to you for an hour. Well, right you'd on. be amazed. Yeah, I think I think I can carry more people than you think. Um, so anyway, I, you no, know, joking, sorry. We have, uh, I mean, well, we think God, two, we have, so you had carry three, that would be more. Hold on. Uh, God, what is his name? He's on Info. Oh, Alex Jones. Oh, Jesus, that guy. Great. He's like he's like ninety eight percent satire. The the whole pickle jar fast. I still laugh at that whole. There's no pop. That was pre opened for her. I can't even get this open. I'm just like <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> oh God. But yeah, no. People watch him rant for hours on end. Yep. So anyway, those are the like, same people that have, that live in bunkers and are sure that. <laughs> the earth those is flat. They're the one. They're, they're the okay. ones that take him seriously. How do you know? Hey, like, how do you know I guys? don't have a bunker? I never said you didn't have a bunker. Yeah. You know, I just I just read it was a uh, was it Japan or China that um, uh, due to people moving out of the rural areas, moving into the cities, uh, that they're using that they're selling or they're renting out bunkers as living spaces now. Mm-hmm. Which, granted, when you think about, it, isn't that bad of an idea? I mean, if they're unused, no, it's not. then by all means. And on top of that, dude, now you've got access to a bunker and you're renting it. If the nukes do fall, who's going to charge you rent? Exactly. All right. So, okay. So I think it's personally, it's a good so, deal. A lot so more we have like. three tornadoes, four. So three, three is when we all agree. Yep. And then it gets two if two people agree on it. And one, one if, if only if it's, one person. If we're all split on it, it only gets one tornado. Yep. Right, yeah, no, that's right. so, she shouldn't have been fired. Gets, There's no reason. So we'll make it. We'll make it a graphic there. next week, so yeah. he gets three tornadoes. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. That's easy. I actually, I already have the graphic done. Nah, that's what to, I figured. It's already ready to go. So right. let's so move next on. Topic. So okay, quick, I, just, I want to throw something out real quick, just because yeah. I you know how my wife happened to stop by before we got to recording. That was really yes. nice of her. Yes. Needed the rocks. So anybody in the uh, New Portrici area, if you see those rocks around, they're painted rocks. Go ahead and pick one up. Go to NPR Rocks uh, dash New Portrici. It's a group on Facebook. Check it out. Just really cool. Something fun to do. We're gonna start painting rocks here. I will have a Twisted Views rock out there. We're gonna have combo. There's already a combo going on out there. We're gonna get Nerd Talk. We're gonna be all kinds of rocks out there. So go see if you can go find them. It's a nice little scavenger hunt. Okay, that's awesome. Not feeling a little touchy feely. Oh God, was it? Uh, good, the, the Boy Scouts do it. Because where we're getting ready to go next, you're gonna you're gonna need you're gonna need all the rocks like you can get hold the, of. Um, the Geo. The oh God, what was it? Um, Geocaching. Geo, yeah, geocast. Yeah, very the boys similar. Do. Those are so much fun. You go and put something, take something out, put something in, and you know, instead of when it's, it's, it's ah, it was so much fun. 
Okay, so here, um, Dylan, you might better put this up behind us. Just let it play in the uh, let it play in the background. Um, I'm, I'm taking this from Fox. That's oh, so Tucker Carlson. Yep, Tucker Carlson has you know he does he does his shows on. I've actually um, met him. I got to meet him when I worked at a uh, radio station for He Who Shall Not Be Named. Yes, and uh, cool guy, really cool guy. But yeah, no. Um, he was so I'm going to let this play in the background. So he, here's the thing. It, but, you know. So Tucker had on this Black Lives Matter advocate, right? And this woman. Okay, here we go. We switch cameras regularly so we don't get a constant view of that so they don't like right they don't give us and and, you know and and, and this is 10 percent. this is this is totally going out to this is totally going out to you know and (laughs) hey thanks for fox news putting this up because i watched this one here she is right here right this lady you know she's on there you know she's on there she's miss smiling smiling then she went into this yeah you whiteies are upset because you were not invited to the black lives matter uh party uh, uh celebration i think the headline says it all i know it's like oh hold on guys is, is boo there... hoo hoo poor whitey white people oh my god I really do, i do have to ask is segregation cool again that's exactly that's what i'm seeing right, right there. there yeah i guess it is like whether you're a supporter or not like whoa yeah I mean, and and Tucker, Tucker, he did a, he did a good job. He didn't get angry. He didn't get upset. That's why I really I, good. I, I, mean, I like. He very held lot. his tone, and he goes, and he was telling her, "That's not right." And, and and he just called it out like it is. That that is just not right. He goes, and he goes, and I would even say this if you were a Nazi. I think if it was the KKK, I think if it was Black Lives, the Black Panthers, if it was neo Nazism, whatever, he would have flat out called it out and said, "Hey, look, you know." That crap ain't right. So what happened? Oh, he's had it. He's done it with the KKK I'm gonna, before. I'm going to put this oh, on you, Caitlin. Um, so what happened? She gets fired. Now, in this case, that's freaking lootly she should have lost yeah, her job. Now, I know it's going to look like, oh, the white guys didn't want the white woman fired and they want the black woman fired. No. What the white woman did was not, it was maybe insensitive, but it wasn't racist. It wasn't... Mm-mm illegal it wasn't harmful it was just maybe distasteful at best no this this it was freedom of speech yeah what this woman did regardless of her skin color was racism oh yeah right right quote to flat out say whitey which is a racist term this is what this is the quote this is this is this is off of the fox site um listen what i say to that is boo hoo hoo she said the white people are angry because the that you couldn't use your white privilege card to get invited to the black lives matter all black memorial day celebration wow and then two days after that um the the uh, new jersey college professor from essex county college in newark at least miss lisa durden's she got fired that can she's out and she's so, the so, very reason that we have. So she was a community college professor. Yeah. She oh she taught community. Oh she taught. Um, hold on, I'll tell you what she did. She taught communications. So 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 the lady on there on the. Uh, <laughs> so the lady saying the wrong things during a Fox News interview was the professor for communications teaching people how to do. And she was fired. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Way. Don't come back. Yeah. I, Bye. Have a good time. Know, you know, it, it's Hoping and now and what? What'd she do? She lowered up. Of course, she did. Because her, 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 she said that her First Amendment, um, her it's a free speech guarantee by the First Amendment, of the U.S. Constitution, and New Jersey law. That's that, that she said that that's that's why she's going to go. She's going to get. She's going to sue. She's going to go back. Go ahead, go sue, go sue. You but that win. college has every right to fire her for making racist statements. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you know when you're on there, you're you, a representative you may be, of the college. Even though you may be a representative of the black, the black movement, the you are first and foremost a black representative black of where you are. You're still a representative yeah. of the college. Absolutely. Yeah. So, bottom line is, is you, you, you know, this is the one time the race card ain't gonna work. I say like, here's a, here's the, here's the ultimate bottom line when it comes to that. Hating any other race or any other skin color, any other height. Anything. I don't care what you are you're hating anybody just because of heh, you're different. You're it's racist. It doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what you are. 
I don't care. You're basically just an asshole, to sum it up. There's a whole bag of people in this world that live under this idea What's of... What's her name again? Her name is uh, Lisa Durden. They live under this idea of, oh, I'm justified. There's no justification for hating somebody for the color of their skin or pushing people away for the color. I'm like, guys, what this, what they have done here, that's racist. Sorry to, sorry to break that to you. It's not okay. No, it's not okay. It's like not you, okay. You have people that support you. It's not okay. Three tornadoes. Three, three tornadoes. tornadoes. Yeah, three tornadoes. She gets three tornadoes. That's that's pretty. Man, when I get these stuff. guys to agree with me, that's bad. Because there's a problem. There's legitimately <laughs> a problem. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. It's like you are literally hating on people. You're hating people for the color of their skin. Put up the lower the TVT. So if you got oh, a yeah, comment emails. on this, TVTV at WeBeamTV. Dot com. Dot com. Like, I'm pretty sure most people agree racism is awful and, you know, we shouldn't hate people for the color of their skin. We shouldn't hate people from their ethnic background. I, you know, that's but just it. segregating people because of, the, because of the color of their skin is just as bad. Like, I thought we learned our lesson. Mm, yeah. See, because I'll tell you right now, the whole, the whole racism thing, it to me, is, is, um, is so far out of control because okay and i think i talked about this before going into it and hey it can be kind of funny we, we talk about what we're going to talk about and he's going here that's racist you can't talk about that but i'm going to talk about the origins in the whole and, and i and i know i'm going to offend some people about this but um this may be our first non three tornado yeah yeah no we had we had a non three tornado um last Not week today I mean, oh. today yeah see because the bottom, been pretty bottom line day. is is the the um slavery is not it, the the african society the black society whatever you want to call it the black you know african americans whatever they don't have the they don't have the, the the corner on this problem because before they were being taken from africa they were been taken from israel they were been taken from uh uh ireland and britain and there was you know how many indentured servants there were before there were slavery Right. I mean, the, look at the, the Jewish. Irish. Look at the Jewish community. Good Lord, they were in slavery back in the days of Jesus. Yeah, no, they were made. They were made to be bank keepers because, according to the according to religion, if you worked with money, you, that was that was a sin. So they forced them to do it instead. So Hence I'm sorry, but you know, from. hey, look, I, I I'm not gonna. I, I I never owned any. Nope. Never <laughs> and never even would think about having any. No, White, black, because, green, blue, purple. I don't care. Forcing you know? people to work for you and but, under the idea of I own you is not a thing. You can't do that. You know, so be, I'm not apologizing for something that I didn't do. Okay, so just real quick. Yeah. From 1641 to 1652, over 500,000 Irish were killed by the English and another 300,000 were sold as slaves. Irish population fell from about 1,500,000 to 600,000 in one single decade. Families were ripped apart as the British did not allow Irish dads to take their wives and children with them across the Atlantic. This led to helpless populations of homeless women and children. British solution was to auction them off as well. Kids and all. Wait, it gets even better. Oh. During the 1650s, over 100,000 100, Irish children between the ages of 10 and 14 were taken from their parents and sold as slaves to the West Indies, Virginia, and New England. West Indies, Virginia, and New England. In this decade, 52,000 Irish, mostly women and children, were sold to Barbados and Virginia. Another 30,000 Irish men and women were also transported and sold to the highest bidder. And in 1656, Cromwell ordered that 2,000 Irish children be taken to Jamaica and sold as slave to English settlers. There you go. We're looking at roughly three quarters of a million within a span of two decades. Now, that, so, so see, it, everybody's got it. Right, everybody's got it. The only way the only, I think the only I, I think oh, people here's something else from that oh. article, and this is where it's going to get really bad. Many people today will avoid calling Irish slaves what they truly were slaves. They come up with a term like indentured servants to describe what occurred to the Irish. However, in most cases in the 17th and 18th centuries, Irish slaves were nothing more than human cattle. As an example, the African slave trade was just beginning during the same period. It is well recorded that African slaves, not tainted with the stain of hated Catholic. Uh, ca Catholic theology and more expensive to purchase were often treated far better than their Irish counterparts. There you go. So African slaves were actually more expensive than Irish slaves. 
and easier to deal with because they didn't have the uh, Catholic background that the Irish had. Which makes sense. Because, of course, the Irish would be more... So that so so, so the African trade slave and the Irish trade uh, slave trade were all being in the same... Ooh, here's the actual price. Irish just went on longer, so to speak. But before that, when you went... I mean, let's go back even further. You go back into... Go back to Egyptian times. Egyptian times. The Jews. The Jews. Millions. Millions of them. Right. For y hundreds of years. I do believe we all have the... 400 years. Let my people go. Yeah. That was, that was a quote everyone should... You know, at, at any uh, anyone church who's anyone know. knows that. But check this out. African slaves were very expensive during the late 1600s. They were 50 sterling. Irish slaves came in cheap, no more than five sterling. Oh my God! So you could and for what you could buy one, you could buy ten of the other. You could buy ten Irish. Now, if a plantation owner whipped or branded or beat an Irish slave to death, it was never a crime. Whereas black slaves, it was considered a crime. In some places, not yeah. not not heavily enforced though. By not no means. heavily enforced. Right. This is all, by the way. Out of a book called White Cargo, the Forgotten History of Britain's White Are Slaves in America. Are you white explaining again? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Is that let, me, let me give you the, the author urban, is Let me give you the, 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 the Urban Dictionary's White Explain, the act of Caucasian person explaining to an audience of color the true nature of racism. A Caucasian person explaining social political events and or history to an audience of color as though they are ignorant children. A Caucasian person explaining the audiences of color that will think will benefit themselves and their families and the communities will harm them and vice versa. So in other words, you're you're, you're kind of you're kind of white explaining so you don't get beat up later. Think about it. So yes, I'm a white explainer. It is what it is. Because I'm reading because I'm reading facts. I'm white. Yeah, but what was the name of the book? It was called. Hold on, I got it right here. It was White Cargo: The Forgotten History. White Cargo. Of yeah, White Slave Cargo: Trace. The Forgotten History of Britain's White Slaves in America by Don Jordan and Michael Walsh. Okay. TV, TV at WeBeamTV.com. You are more than welcome to email us your opinion. And we will read it. I will revisit it. We will revisit it. Bottom line is, the lady, I don't care if she's white, black, or whatever, that was pure on racism. Yeah, no, you, you incited hate speech. You you did. You, Absolutely. You 100% incited telling people that, like, that. Short of some Al Sharpton or somebody getting behind her, she's not winning that case. No. No. It's going to take... Like yeah. the entire. So how are we doing on time there, Dill? Uh, about twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. So, so we're still pretty good. We can go on our next topic if you'd like. Well, our next topic is what there. Because we just we 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 uh, like went through. Let's we see what went, else is going on. We jumped on that. We quickly. had. Um, oh, what about the uh, Supreme Court decision on the, um, to hear the travel ban case in August? They reversed some of the ban of the hold on the travel ban. They reversed some of it. And they're going to hear it out completely in August. And the president says it's a clear victory. The vet? Oh, good. What? The vetting is an actual ban now. No, the ban, his travel ban was put on hold. Because the Supreme Court said that's not legal. They've now allowed some of it to be... I'm trying yeah, to... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a vetting. It's... Yeah. The thing is, this is not the first time America's done it. It's not the first time any country has done it. Why is Paris Hilton all of a sudden popping up in Twitter? You know, she's probably taking her clothes off again. Well, she's trying to get people to follow her Snapchat. Oh, uh, is that what it is? So you'll most likely see some things that you're not supposed to see. Harry Potter turns 20. All right. <laughs> first book came out 20 years ago. 20 years ago? I feel old. When was the first movie? Not much longer after that. Yeah, it was fairly fairly quick. Now, right? was that when it was, yeah. that when it was the still the Sorcerer's Stone? Or was that when it, when it was still the Philosopher's, Philosopher's Stone? Yeah, okay, there we go. Last year, because the original the Philosopher's Stone didn't sell nearly as well. Well, no, because people it was, like it yeah, was, people, people change it in America to Sorcerer's Stone for some reason. That sold. and then it blew up. It's just like, oh, dude, Sorcerers, I like that. It's like, <laughs> what is the article? Oh, here we go. People, people, people relate. Well, nowadays people relate um, the Philosopher's Stone to alchemy versus you know magic. Really? Nicholas Vermeil. Yes. Okay. The idea of uh, uh, Nicholas Vermeil was an alchemist, or was well, supposedly an alchemist. I love the okay. fact that she actually used that real person. Yes. Okay. So the travel ban ruled unconstitutional by two federal uh, appellate courts. Possible Supreme Court outcomes. Yes. Administration can argue case in October. No lower court decision stays. So they did agree that 
they will be able to uh, argue a case. It's not. I'm sorry. I said August. It's actually October. I apologize. Mm-hmm. So that is the clear victory. Is that the Supreme Court says no, the appellate court. We are going to go ahead and argue it. Um. It could be arguable. Yeah, definitely. I don't see a reason not to argue it. I mean, it need, it needs to be fleshed out. Yep. I say I think I think if uh, they all sat oh, down here's, together. Okay, and... Here's his quote: "As president, I cannot allow people into our country who want to do us harm. I want people who can love the United States and all of its citizens, and who will be hardworking and productive." Today's ruling allows me to use an important tool for protecting our nation's homeland. I am also particularly gratified that the Supreme Court decision was nine to zero. However, the opinion was unsigned, meaning that this is not known not known what the breakdown was on the judge's vote. So it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be taken to the Supreme Court and it's going to be ironed out. Everyone get all the details yeah. finalized, imprint, impressed, posted to Whitehouse.gov so you can go look up and look up the bill and the ban yourself. And everyone will know the rules at that point. It's they're laid out in stone for you. On paper. Go read them. Print them out. They're free to your Free knowledge. is good. Yeah, that's the thing. All these things, the healthcare bill, all the Remember, stuff, you can get all say, before, but before I, I, I made this point, I made this point before a few times on um, my own Facebook. Before you go and start complaining about something that someone, or a bill that's passed in the government, and you are taking from, uh, you're taking information from outside sources, remember, that bill is 100% free and available for you to go look at and read fully. Granted, it's most from like 50 pages plus. But if you are going to sit here and s- just read cherry picked pieces from media and not going to go read the whole thing, you're a hypocrite. It's as simple as that. Go read the whole thing and then go, oh. Hey, our friends from Beer and Sunshine are in Dalton, Georgia. Oh, nice. Dalton. They're at Cherokee Brewing and Pizza Company, which is actually, I know exactly where that's at. We've that's, been in Dalton a few times. Yeah, well, we're from that area. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, they're on well, their way back are. to Nova Scotia, aren't they? Are they? Yeah, her daughter's graduating. Nova that's why she Scotia. won't be in the studio this week. That's right. It'll be just Tommy. Just Tommy. This shot will be good. That'll be very Nova interesting. Scotia. This might This might be one you guys don't want to miss. Check so, out Beer and Sunshine Friday at 8 p.m. on WeBeamTV.com. You mentioned something earlier, earlier that what? I'd be willing to talk about. What's that? The three million dollars that was. Oh yes, we do want to talk about that because we saw the cam and all that. Yeah, because me and Vince uh, talked about it, actually had like a full on discussion Castillo, about that. Um, who was shot and killed by a police officer? His family has settled oh, already yeah. for three million dollars with the city, just like that. The Philando Castiles. Yeah. Yes. Um. Well, yeah, because they they didn't want this to get out. They they wanted they want the city wanted to shut that down quick. Exactly. I'm gonna say like, I, I don't know I, what was, is the cost of a human life. Like, what I, what kind of money? But we used to have one of those. I just and I then Vince is like, no, we should we shouldn't have it. Like every human value, every human life should have a number value. It's it's simple as that. There's a rounded number. Yeah, value. Yeah, but like, I don't think your importance should matter at that point. If everyone has a, as a, 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 how do you choose what who's worth what? Everyone's worth the same. I made the point. I just said that. I don't care who you yeah, are. Yeah, but okay. So how I'm do you not going to sit here and say a state representative is the same is as the same as a different price from uh, Joe Schmo walking down the street. It's a life's a life. At that point, you're mm. worth the same. Mm. Whose life's more important, uh, crackhead who's killing people, or the military guy who defends our country? You see, now we're was, took, he, was he a crackhead? Grant, we took it to two extremes. No, but, I'm just saying. I'm taking. I'm, oh, okay. I'm just, he's, at, he's saying that we're every life's worth the same. Right. I don't, I don't agree with it, that take, at all. Taking it to, to two extremes, it's fine. We can go there. Um, I don't agree that. Okay, let's see. Let's let's break it down then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it bring it down. The person who refuses to get a job, lives off welfare, and makes your taxes go up every day. Mm-hmm. Cuts you off in public, you know, whatever. Curses you out just for being who you are while takes your money out of your taxes. Mm-hmm. Or you, as a person working hard, busting your butt, providing for your family, doing what you have to do. That person is mo- is just as valuable as you are? Yes. No. So. No. What you bring into it is different. Is different. Now, you're... Oh, but, you know what it is, though? I have kids. At the end of the day, I have kids. So... Your life, right? And your, I, do, I your rank, whole, do I rank children higher? Yes. No. Well, here's my thing. They are your those, life those and your ideas. Futures. 
will change the second you have kids. Because the second you see somebody milking the system and taking money and food out of your children's mouths, they are no longer just as important as you are. They are less of a person than you are. So that person out there living in that, rolling around in that Cadillac off welfare money, living in a trailer with 400 kids, and they're just milking the system and milking the system and milking the system and doing whatever they can. Again, big ass car because they spend all their money on it, but they live in a tiny little trailer with a bunch of kids living in the same room, not caring what they do, only having kids to get more welfare and get more out of taxes while you bust your butt and because you're having to pay higher taxes now to pay their bills, your kids don't get to have the food they want because they get to have the food they want, that person is not important. That person is less. There yes. was there was well, a there was a Facebook post um, a couple of, of last week where this guy was walking into a bank or something like that, and uh, a, a a person of color, as he was a white guy, went over and said "f you." Oh yeah. And your white privilege, and the guy the guy very I mean the guy did a great job. If you go and watch the post, well I'll find it repost on our Facebook page. But the It'll di- be on Twisted Views TV on Facebook. Yeah, the di- the guy did a really good job of going. Okay, so what? Let me tell you about my white privilege. I had an alcoholic father who left, so I wondered what I did wrong. Um, he never got anything handed to him. He had a father, and, and then he had a stepfather that was, was a abusive. drunk and abusive. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, the guy had you know the guy had worked his way through scratched did what he had to do to make the money that he needed to make so he could drive a car that he's always when he was like an Audi A8 or something like that, which is an actually phenomenal car. But the guy worked for it. He wasn't given to him. So, you know, the whole, this whole, you know, because you're white and people look at you, oh, you have white privilege, you have no idea. Other people have no idea what you've gone through, what you've done, and how mm-hmm. you've done it to get what you've gotten, you know? Yep. So I'm tired of and that again. It goes right back to the whole racism thing. It's it's crap. The cards have got to be done. There's no more cards anymore. No more cards. No. No. You t- you you take people. Look, and and I've said this my whole life. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what nationality. You are, I don't care where you're from. I'm going to treat you, in the beginning, like you're a decent human being. But the minute you show me you're not a decent human being. I'm not going to treat you that way anymore. Exactly. I'm not going to treat you bad. I'm just going to ignore you. And that's the thing. If you are not a decent human being, you are not, monetarily speaking, worth the same as a decent human being. Period. So the whole the whole race card is crap. Anybody that tries to pull it on me, I'm like, But we no. did push off the, the original topic again. Hmm? Well, no, we're, we're fam- definitely going to go back The to family that. was paid off $3 million instantly. But they like, were no quick course. to accept that and they were of fight it. it. Yeah. Like I'm sorry, well, lot, it's going three million dollars. It's, it's kind of funny. Everybody on Twitter and Facebook are saying, "No, they should have taken the money. They should have prosecuted." Okay, this is my opinion. When a cop tells you, "Stop! Don't reach for," you stop. You put your hands down and you let them do what and they're the going to, or whatever yeah, they say you, you, you do. Make sure you your do. hands are visible. Right. But instead of instead of you know, because he told the officer that he had a gun. Mm-hmm. And at that point in time, the officer said, do not reach for it. Matter of fact, you heard that you saw the video. Yeah. It's, said, we'll put it on our Facebook page. Yeah, do not reach for it. Yeah, do not reach for it. And he continued to reach. Whether he was reaching for it or his driver's license or his get out of jail card free or get out of a free card, doesn't matter. When the cop tells you get down or stop, you get down or you stop. Right. The, Period. The the, the, pr- the proper way of handling. I mean, this is had me and Vince had this conversation the other day. The proper procedure for handling that, as I've spoke to people about this, is if they have a concealed firearm, goes yes, it's next to my wallet. In that case, it's okay, sir. Would you please step out of the vehicle so I can see you're going for your wallet and not your gun? At that point, it's yes. You step out of the vehicle. You show my wallet is in my back pocket. You then grab your wallet. Ham your ID. Everything's done, taken care of. The other, There's the other well, procedure, actually, the procedure actually, there is the other car. Minds. Your let hands the cop, on the car. The cop will like. Let, the, he'll pull your like, I hate using that cop word. The uh, the police officer. The officer. Police officer. Okay. Well, the actually, like, at that point in time, he will frisk you and pull out what he needs to pull out. The thing is, but at that at that point, I don't even. Or think the officer at least would need take, to the, take the gun, if it's on you, and then eliminate the issue altogether. The gun is now placed aside, and now you can take your wallet out, and go through it. And the thing is, like, at that point, the officer probably, uh, honestly, just knowing how people get, it's like, okay, he's been compliant with everything I've said. I'm just right. going to let him grab his wallet and hand it to me. There's there's no issues here. 
I also don't up. believe the cop intended to be lethal in his in his firing. Um, because he fired all in this region. Like, he was firing. He, he could have easily just shot If you're shooting head. here, you're shooting. You, no, you're going to win. The thing is, is on you're, top of that, seven but holes. seven shots. Because, again, he got scared. Like, wouldn't you get scared? The guy's pulling for a gun. And yeah, I'm not going to. Bow, bow, bow. Again, when, when you're told to not do something. Yeah, don't do it. Just don't do and it. And I think, honestly, this is what I'm thinking about. I think that's why they settled so fast. I think their lawyer told them. You better take this If this goes money, out in the long run, this could you're actually. Gonna lose. You're going to lose. Yep. Because he was, I mean, you could hear, I mean, I, I saw the dash cam. Mm -hmm. He told him, don't. Yeah. Several times, don't. So don't reach for it. Don't, don't reach for it. And when you it. start reaching for Stop it, reaching, you're dead. Stop reaching for it. Yeah. And then it was pop, 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 All right. It's bottom line. How we got for time here, Daily Willie? So about six minutes. Oh, that's awesome. Um, okay. Now, I Yeah, feel no, we've, I was say, I point out, it's. Have we been switching cameras? Nope. Yeah, I have been actually. Have it's been, it's okay. very difficult until I'm, uh, while I'm talking. <laughs> we need to have you. Uh... Right, because that'll make things easier. It will actually. Um, so that's another. I, say, I, I, see, I think we pointed out was the fact of was the officer 100 percent in the right? Yeah, uh, kinda. In the idea of. Uh, How can you he be kinda? He, he it's either you are or you're not. No, because there absolutely is a gray area with this. Should the man not have reached for his wallet anyway? Yes, one hundred percent. Hand should have gone back on the wheel, and they should he should uh, and the officer should have told him to exit the vehicle. Yes, I will say that one hundred percent. But the situation could have been handled very differently. He should have been told, instructed to step out. Granted, well, you could also argue the man didn't give him time. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what we're saying. Wallet. Like, it was like. Now again, it could be edited because, like we saw, it is edited. There's a, there's a, there's there's a, a large, there's there's a large gap. gap from the from the initial pullover to that particular moment. That's not there, but he did not give him any time to tell him to get out of the car. He's exactly, like, by yeah. the way, sir, I have a firearm. Okay, don't reach for it, and he don't reach for it. Don't don't don't, bah, 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 bah. don't. There is literally no time for the cop to say get out of the car. Yes, that, and that's that's where that's that, that is where because he was reaching. Yes, that is that's absolutely. You don't know what he's him. gonna do. Yep. Um, so it's, it, you know, I'll say, on that same note, I still 100 percent agree with the whole body cams and whatnot. They, yeah, where, there's no what, reason for that not to be standard at this point. Can somebody tell me where that was at again? Uh, actually, I can look it up. I was gonna say I've got Team Viewer. Yeah, no, the, someone someone had done the math a while ago for for a body cam per officer that on duty. And well, that's just some it's, states. Not not every state has gone it, it over should, to that yet. It should be it should be mandatory in in all these states because that would give Minnesota. I say regardless, Minnesota. regardless of what's going on, that gives us clear, definitive proof, and that that could erase all of these gray areas, all of them. Yeah, the thing is, and and yes, it, for for the first year, it would be a, a bit more of a strain on our tax dollars. It's the first year, but now we have 100% court cases, and we've cut down on riots by what 70%. Now we are saving in taxes because we're not we're not paying for a city to be rebuilt. So so have we cut down have we cut down on riots because the other of the cops or the police officers are wearing them, or the people are going like ah crap now I can't be an asshole to the police officer. I think so. It's, yeah, it's it's the fact. Did that you see the, there's actually two new videos released too where the cops have cops are assholes too. Sometimes. Oh yeah, there was a, it goes both ways. Because there was a cop like the kid got out of his car like he was told to, put his hands up, and then the cop just decked him. And then he, yeah, then I saw a video. I'm like, I'm like, and the Whoa. other cop comes running out of the passenger seat. Of the other the police car. officer, the cop. Don't care. <laughs> cops. Like it's just, I know cops, and they say they say cop. He comes out of the passenger seat, right, running full speed. The kid is on the ground, handcuffed, and he just straight steps right on his head. I mean, full on, full force. Yeah, and that's and that's crap. Like, Whoa. Say, that was that was brutality. To the height. Like it was like, come on. There was no. Re the not, kid was yeah, compliant. And I, got I'm, out of his car. Got decked in the and face. And I want to make sure everybody understands. Asshole. I don't sit there and t say that every police officer out there is not has not got issues. No. Would say we, some of them are great. Ones. Some of them have problems. Yeah, no, yeah. And you know what? It's just you know you just don't know what's going on that day. The thing is, like, just because someone's being okay, but I guess the bottom line there is, doesn't matter who you hire. Once again, if you're being rude to somebody, it still doesn't give you the you know the ability to just punch them in the face as soon as they get out of their car. Like, yeah, that guess was... what? That's still assault, no matter what you're hiding behind you. Whether you're hiding behind a badge, I saw, or I saw another one where they like. Handcuffed a kid and then body slammed him into the ground. Like, did you like there was there was another one? We're running a on time, so I'm trying to hurry. We have two minutes, but there's another one. Kid got out of his car and they tased him into a coma, and he has brain damage now. 
Mm -hmm. I'm like, that was beyond unnecessary. Yeah, he was being a dick to you, but when you got out of the car, you didn't need to pick him up, well, part lift of the brain him up your head, and then just drop him on his head, and then taser him while he's on the ground. Yeah. That was completely uncalled yeah, for, brain and damage, you deserve to have your the brain, brain damage. All those two cops that hit that kid, they were fired literally the next day. I'd fired? I would have had them charged for assault. Yeah, they're, they're facing charges, too. The, 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 for example, the officer, the officer that gave the kid brain damage. I don't care if he's being a dick to you. Brain damage isn't okay, dude. You deserve to go to jail so for So body cams are That's not assault. required in Minnesota, uh, but it does say that um, all cops on regular duty, like the moonlighting cops, as they put them, or off-duty officers, don't wear them, but all other cops do. Good. They, they, they so where is, the, where is the body cam from that? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm saying. And I think, I think both sides realize they're at fault. A. They realize, well, we don't have any body. We don't. Have, we have the body cam footage on this, but it just make, does nothing more than make us bad. And the family going, well, or the lawyer, you know, I'm sure the lawyer explained to the family, hey, you're not going to win this case. The officer told him to stop reaching, and he kept reaching. Like, and at that point, fight or flight takes over. Well, boys, we we'll say we have about thirty seconds. It's been a good show. I think so. I'm Boss Tech. I'm Super Beard. You're gonna edit out show right now. Right now, we should delay it a few more seconds. Just and that's, that's been. Cytokin. We've had three three tornadoes today. So yeah, yeah we, we we didn't debate very we many did, topics today. No, we did, but the topics we talked about were important topics. So yeah, they had they had to be touched on at some point because so, some of these were just they're they're just ridiculous. You listen know? to us on our podcast. Listen to our other shows on podcast. Go uh, WeBeam TV on we iTunes. TV on iTunes. You can find us on iTunes. You can if you want find to all of our podcasts. Podcast, yeah, or you can go watch us right there at TwistedViewTV. Watch us because we're pretty. Sure. Yeah. No, or you can just listen not. to the podcast and hear a voice. Our voices are much better than our faces. If you go and listen to the older the older shows, you're going to have our commercials in there. We're sorry about that. We're but just not going to edit know, those it's, out. It's part but. of the. All right. Well, guys. We'll see everybody next week. We are out of time. Bye, See ya.